Hello and welcome to the Expo Zoom series uh, where we are discussing the practical aspects of sunscreen usage. One of the big and burning questions is that do sunscreens cause vitamin D deficiency? Uh, there have been many many studies of late to show that practical sunscreen usage like how you and me use it doesn't quite cause vitamin D deficiency. Uh, just a few months earlier my team and I published a study on close to 1000 odd patients who were evaluated for vitamin D deficiency. What we found was this, people who did not use sunscreens had the same levels of vitamin D deficiency as people who did use sunscreens. We also found that people who had more outdoor kind of jobs had similar levels of vitamin D deficiency as those who had, who predominantly had indoor jobs or indoor ambience. So the idea was that most of us have vitamin D deficiency to start with. In fact, in the study we found that the only group that did not have vitamin D deficiency was the set of people who had been on vitamin D supplementation itself. Uh, yes, vitamin D deficiency is very very common in India. One of the explanations for this is, um, it goes like this, because our skin is richly pigmented uh, to protect us from skin cancer, it does a great job of preventing UV from reaching the skin as compared to what, how it happens in the Caucasian skin. And UVB is what starts the process of vitamin D synthesis in the skin and since the melanin blocks UVB naturally in richly pigmented Indian skin types, it also doesn't allow as much vitamin D synthesis as it would in a Caucasian. In fact, darker skin types have been studied to produce up to 90% less vitamin D on sun exposure comparatively. Another important factor is that we are in a highly polluted environment which reduces the amount of UVB reaching us which is actually nice from the point of view of cancer prevention and uh, uh, photo aging since UVB causes skin cancer but pollution is damaging to the skin and causes skin aging anyway. If you remember the exposome episode from a, a while ago, we discussed the role of pollution in causing skin aging along with UV. And if the UVB does manage to reach us, we must remember that we are generally a very covered up people. This, you know, we, we wear clothes on most of the body surface area. This further reduces whatever 10% of vitamin D production as well. So the best thing to do is to try and be on vitamin D supplementation, guided by your physician of course, and enjoy using your sunscreen to prevent skin aging. Uh, there's also some buzz around sunscreens that selectively allow a particular range of UVB to penetrate into the skin to produce vitamin D. However, there's a lot to wonder here. If the sunscreen does allow a certain band of UVB to reach the skin to make vitamin D, does it allow the same band of UVB to damage skin uh, in our skin types and to cause skin cancer in western skin types? And what about the tanning that would be a result of this exposure because we sure don't like tanning. Also how does this apply to the Indian skin where we have an innate melanin sun defense mechanism which makes us deficient in vitamin D anyway. So yes, I would see this UVB allowing sunscreens is more of a poorly understood risk than, for, than consider any actual benefit out of them. On the other hand, for the same SPF number, it has been studied that a higher PA++++ plus 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 number allows enough vitamin D synthesis in Caucasians in places with high UV index. They were talking about 9, what we have here is 10 and 11. So what is similar in our environment, I'd say is only the UV index. Our melanin anyway blocks vitamin D synthesis in an attempt to protect us from skin cancer. So the summary of all of this is yes. There used to be a concern about sunscreen causing vitamin D deficiency but there are many studies which show that sunscreen use does not cause vitamin deficiency the way we use it and that's the latest scientific position. We in general are a vitamin D deficient population as it is. The best way as we discussed right now is to continue to use the vitamin D supplements guided by your doctor based on your level of deficiency regardless of sunscreen use and enjoy sunscreens to give you young and healthy skin. You take care and I'll see you soon.